Now we see the very end of the Cretaceous period. Animals thrived on the Earth. Herbivores roamed majestically around the planet. Predators were preying in abundance. Among all the diversity of the animal world, the biggest and strongest lizard stood out, Tyrannosaurus. He was the king among the dinosaurs. Of course, there were predators that could easily engage in a fight with the Tyrex. Spinosaurus, for example. But that was out of the question. Spinosaurus lived in Africa. The Tyrex was in North America. Well, compared to Rex, which literally bit the heads off Triceratops, Spinosaurus had weak jaws, which could not withstand the jaws of Tyrannosaurus. No competition at all. Until a larger and more powerful dinosaur than Tyrannosaurus is found to overthrow him. Tyrex will always carry the title of king of the dinosaurs, and Spinosaurus is simply not such an animal. But while Tyrex himself was and still is one of the strongest and biggest lizards of the Cretaceous period. We'll tell you that the fight in the movie Jurassic Park 3 was fictional. Jack Horner, the guy who was behind the introduction of Spinosaurus into the Jurassic Park franchise, admits that Spinosaurus couldn't have beaten Tyrannosaurus if you wanted to find his way out. And the heavyweight Triceratops could actually inflict mortal wounds on the king. And the giant Argentinosaurus could trample a predator and not even notice it. But those were stupid herbivores. And people are looking for a decent predator. Why did Tyrannosaurus become a king? The fact is that at the very beginning of the deep study of paleontology, the Tyrannosaurus was one of the first species that scientists discovered. The first fossilized bones were discovered in Wyoming in 1900 by an expedition from the American Museum of Natural History, led by Barnum Brown. In 1905, Henry Osborne of the American Museum of Natural History described the remains from Wyoming as Dinosaurus imperiosus and the fossils from Montana as Tyrannosaurus rex, tyrant lizard. On December 30, 1906, the New York Times published an article about the discovery of the first Tyrannosaurus, consisting of huge bones of the hind limbs and pelvis of the animal, whose partial skeleton was installed in the hall of the American Museum of Natural History. For comparison, the skeleton of a large bird was placed between his legs, to impress museum visitors even more. Scientists have unknowingly elevated Tyrex into the king of the dinosaurs and in some cases, even the god of dinosaurs. But if we hear, see, and know so much about Tyrannosaurus, why don't we know who was the lizard king before this giant? Let's get to the bottom of this. At the end of the Cretaceous period, at the end of the dinosaur age, there were giant predators, the Tyrannosaurs, at the top of the food chain. And the king was Tyrex. Before him, however, the menace of all terrestrial animals was a lesser known, but no less ruthless predator. At least one of them. Watch this video to the end. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell not to miss new and interesting releases from the channel Real Unreal. Japanese scientists have described a new dinosaur species with the sonorous name Olobigsaurus uzbekistanensis. The dinosaur belonged to a genus of the family Carcharodontosauridae. This family included large carnivorous dinosaurs, which were the top predators before tyrannosaurs took their place. The fossilized remains of an ancient giant were discovered in the center of the Kazilkum Desert in Uzbekistan. The age of these sediments suggests that the new species inhabited this area about 90 million years ago. The mass of Olobigsaurus uzbekistanensis exceeded 1,000 kilograms, and its length was 7, 5 to 8 meters, more than the length of an adult African elephant. The size of this animal far exceeds the size of other predators, the remains of which have ever been found in this desert. Based on this, the researchers conclude that Uzbekistanensis was most likely at the top of the food chain in the early Upper Cretaceous ecosystem. Before the late Cretaceous, Carcharodontosaurids, including Olibexaurus, disappeared from the face of the Paleocontinent, which then included Central Asia. 
This disappearance is associated with the spread of Tyrannosaurids, but this transition is poorly understood due to the lack of relevant fossils. And now we are going to go even further, to the Jurassic period. Who was the king of this era? This is the Torvosaurus. It was the largest Jurassic predator in the United States and Portugal. Its body length was 10 meters or 33 feet and weighed 3 tons, making Torvosaurus the largest Jurassic carnivore after Saurophaganax. Torvosaurus coexisted with other large theropods, such as Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus, in the United States and Portugal but apparently had different ecological niches. Torvosaurus outnumbered its neighbors in size and may have been the largest predator of its ecosystem. Most interesting. This predator has been assigned to different families. Torvosaurus was attributed to the family of Megalosaurs. Then it became a member of the Basal Carnosaur family. And then it managed to be attributed to Spinosauridae and Thetanuri. However, none of the above claims were supported by phylogenetic analysis. Another interesting fact. Very rarely have scientists found fossilized dinosaur eggs. Torvosaurus has been a godsend for scientists. Fossilized lizard eggs were found in western Portugal, in riverbank sediments thought to date back to the Tythonian stage of the Jurassic period, about 152 to 145 million years ago. The specimen is preserved in the Museum de la Rignan in Portugal. Because the eggs were abandoned due to unknown circumstances, it is unknown whether Torvosaurs provided parental care for their eggs and young or abandoned them soon after laying. Let us not leave out the other Jurassic hosts. Whether these giants reached the kings of the Mesozoic like Tyrannosaurus is debatable. But their strength and agility were sufficient. Allosaurus after Tyrannosaurus, this predator is the most common in documentaries and feature films, fantasy literature and the production of toys and collectible figures. Allosaurus had a narrow body, long and strong hind limbs, rather powerful for theropods front limbs with three claws. Despite its lightness, the lizard's skull could withstand heavy loads, but its biting power was greatly inferior to that of Tyrannosaurus. The largest owl could be 9 meters long, 3 meters high, and weigh 1, 7 tons. Many paleontologists at this point are of the opinion that Allosaurus could hunt in packs. These ruthless lizards engaged in combat with huge stegosauruses, and there is evidence of this. Allosaurs could also attack other predators. Nor should we forget cannibalism. Bite marks on the bones of their own kind are also present. Another worthy specimen of the Jurassic period is Ceratosaurus. Ceratosaurus could reach a length of 6 to 7 m from snout to tail end, and its weight was calculated in different specimens from 670 to 980 kg. Theropod had a large head relative to the whole body, rather small forelimbs with four toes, strong but not long legs, trunk compressed from the sides, tail especially compressed, the upper part of the head, neck and trunk covered with skin ossicles, The predator had dagger-like teeth. The main feature that distinguishes Ceratosaurus from other large theropods is the presence of three horns on the head, or rather one horn located on the midline of the skull and two semicircular bone ridges above each of the eyes formed from the lacrimal bones. Of the whole trio, Torvosaurus claimed the role of king. But his rivals Big Al and Ceratosaurus could also claim the main place under the sun. As king of the dinosaurs. Thanks for watching this episode all the way to the end. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And click on the bell not to miss new and interesting releases from the channel Real Unreal.